on the road again in the Lamborghini between the Street Effects headquarters and GT Auto Garage. And we're just talking about Mark using his YouTube channel a bit more, but we need Facebook's help. So yeah. to get an idea on who I am, my YouTube channel is about acceleration time. So we'll get anything and everything and we measure how fast it goes from zero to 60 miles an hour, zero to 100 k's an hour. Just for a comparison in the real world, because that's what we like to do. It's good, it's just to enter cars. But Mark's come up with a pretty cool idea. What he wants to do, everyone, is see how, see if it's possible to get something that's as fast as the Lambo. Yeah, well, I mean, we've already taken this down the corner. Yeah. yeah. What, what did you do on the you drag? 10.7 at 131. 10.7 at 131. Now on it's the completely drags. stock. So, that's you know, this car in Australia is a half million dollars. I know in America, for all you people commenting right now, it's not that much over there. It's only about 300 and something thousand US for the option on the road. <laughs> Straight away, they said, what, 500 yeah. okay. Well, also along with the idiots, they're saying, how can it be sunlight where you are? It's because <laughs> we're on the other side of the world, you clown. And we're stuck in this ridiculous traffic. Um, but, so, what's going to be, we're going to try and video, and this is to get Mark using his YouTube channel more. No, I can't. It. We're stuck in the middle of traffic, that's why. People are telling me to, to boot it. <laughs> if it wasn't on a stuck mount, we could turn around, but we can't. It, there's traffic, you, they'll see cars. Yeah, yeah but it doesn't stop idiots. There are lots of idiots. Yeah. No offence, everyone. When we get some free road, we'll give it some stick for you. <laughs> so, back to, the, back to the channel idea. And I want everyone to get involved in this, because I want him to use his YouTube channel more. He wants to to see if he can build a car. You say ten thousand dollar budget. I want to get a ten thousand Australian dollar budget. Yep. So that's actually about seven grand US. Yes. To do a car, to do a pass under eleven seconds. So ten grand for ten seconds. That's pretty cool. Well, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle, I think. So I'm actually curious to know what other people suggest as a good base for this. Bearing in mind that we are not in America, so. Before we go any further, do you want to put a hundred dollars on it, beating this? I bet you a hundred dollars you won't beat the Lambo. Can I put a hundred dollars that I won't beat the Lambo as well? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'll beat the Lambo once, but then it probably won't drive again. All right, deal. All right, deal. So we'll okay. see. We'll see what you can do reliably. We'll line and... them up on the strip. If it gets an ideal launch, then okay. All right, yeah, I'm down. All right, hundred bucks 100 if you bucks. can beat the Lambo. Okay. Okay. So this is Mark's build. I'm going to help him film it, and we're going to get it onto YouTube, everyone. So he wants to know because we, we we can't decide what car should be the base. Yeah. Yeah. What and chassis? what engine? What engine? And bearing in mind things like drivetrains and all that sort of stuff. Something I've learned from my channel. Oh God, this car sounds so good. Yeah. Instantly they're commenting about time. Um, yeah. So with my channel, it, it's become very apparent. It's hard to launch a manual. It's it really, is. It, yeah. You might get that one perfect launch out of ten launches. Well, the GDR does it right, but you just sit at eight thousand, double clutch, and off you go. All wheel drive. Do you reckon all wheel drive is going to be in the budget? No way. Couldn't even get a GDR for 20 true, grand. True, true, true. So it's got to be two. There's a GDR drive. right there. Sell one. Is it for sale? Very well. Not for 10 grand. 32. 32. The guy got it lately. Yeah, man. The last time when we were trying to buy that one for the, the Xbox promo, the, the minimum I could find one for was like 25 grand. The um, have you seen how? Actually, you guys might know this over in America. They, they, oh, there was one at uh, Barrett Jackson. I think it made 37 or 47 thousand US for a 32 GDR, which is about what one of these are worth in America. <laughs> I wish. Yes. Uh, I'll be packing up and moving right away. It's okay. Right, live stream's still going. I keep forgetting it's there. Yeah. Um, so, guys, get... we're in Australia. That's why it's sunlight. <laughs> get Third commenting person. below. Chassis, engine, and gearbox. Combos that are going to get us Lamborghini Huracan speed for yeah. sub ten thousand Australian. So dollars. ten grand versus half a million dollars. May not pick up as many chicks. <laughs> Somebody just said a mini with a. RB? <laughs> Not, a Mini with a Honda engine. That's what Mighty Car Mods are doing. Oh, is it? That's not going to be 10 second car. No. Nice. Well, maybe. Minis are front wheel drive. They are. Yeah. And Hondas are never fast. <laughs> Why just kidding? Sorry. But well, there's a JZ swapped Honda in America. That's quick. <laughs> Take out the VTEC and actually go. Yeah. Actually, they're a lot of fun Hondas. I don't mind them. I've only ever had one Honda. It's like a Civic. Somebody's just said 180SX with a 2J. Do you reckon you could do that under 10 grand? No, nah, not with a 2J. I think you'd have to just stretch uh, stretch out a 1J. Just because 2Js, you, before you even get the start on it, you're spending four grand. True. Yeah, don't forget, things are expensive in Australia, guys. But, I mean, even so, like, a 2J three, four years ago wouldn't have been that expensive. It's just expensive now. True, 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 true. 
another S chassis recommended? Somebody said Cressida. Cressida with a 1J? They just said Cressida. Yeah, I reckon a Cressida with a 1J would be a pretty good deal. Because they only weigh, what, 1,400 kilos? I know they're that's not much, I don't know the exact weight. And I think you can pick one up for about 600 bucks too. Huh. Yeah, okay, that's pretty cheap. And if anyone actually has a shell look, uh, they're interested in selling us for a very good price, please let us know. know. As somebody's just said a VT Commodore with an LS and NOS. You'd probably do that for under 10 grand. Sure. I mean, a VT Commodore, most people would pay you to take it away. <laughs> this what about a Ford Taurus? You'd definitely get paid to take one of those away. Oh, I don't know what they were thinking of. Are they? Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking of when they made I was thinking, I've been in one once and it's got a round radio. Round radio? Yeah. It's like an oval. Everyone on the live stream, I cannot tell you how insane this car is. Oh, I can't I mean, believe you daily drive this thing. <laughs> it's, I'm stuck in this frustrating traffic though. Someone just said 32 Skyline GDST. That's probably well, maybe that. a GDS4 you could get in. I've, and they, they've got the same sort of drivetrain as the GDRs or a similar drivetrain. Probably not as hardy, but at least you got all drive. And you can pick those up for about 5k, I think, 6k. Do you think you could do? Do you think you could do? Do you reckon an RB25 has got the potential to make it? Definitely. Up the um, we took on the roll racing. We took on a 33 that the guy said that he built for a sub 10. Had a 25. It was a repairable write-off, and he beat us in top speed huh. against our our 800 wheel horsepower GDR. So he doesn't know how much power it's putting out, but it was a lot, and it was quick. But he said that he had engine problems after that night. So somebody's just a Toyota Prius. Yeah. Do, do you think they'll do 11 seconds? If you drop it out of a plane, maybe. <laughs> oh. Jethro has said you drive like a girl, yes, and you don't deserve a Lamborghini. Be nice. He's, he takes people for drives. He does, he needs a better one. Yeah, which we'll talk about another day. Oh, shit. Okay, um... So, well, we'll, I wouldn't mind, once we get onto the highway, it'll be good to do your little zero to 100 in this, so hopefully we can do that. But, um, we'll put in the comments, like in the in the title of this, we put the, uh, the YouTube, YouTube channel. Link. So it's Street Effects Official, and yours is... Zero to 60. Um, yeah, so go and check it out, guys. We'll have a full sort of breakdown on today's activities on the Street Effects channel. Get liking this video, get commenting, let us know what we should use to build this car and get him off his backside in using his YouTube channel. That's yeah. what I want to see. Street Effects Official is our one and um, we will be posting the build of this car up as well. So just help us find out like what you think would be a good starting point and we'll we'll go from there. And then if we can make it build, if, we, if it leads the Lambo, That'll be a good base. Like I think that we'll have a little bit of a, a night where we run the two against each other. I don't want it to be the Lambo because it's going to cost me a hundred dollars. Can I drive the Lambo? It's costing me ten grand by the way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whether I win or lose, I'm still ten grand down. You can have cool, you have two cool cars now. Actually, yeah, but knowing my luck, we'll probably use an XL with like a freaking four <laughs> G sixty three drivetrain strong top. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Evo. Mitsubishi Mirage with an Evo drivetrain, but I don't think that'll that, that won't get in the budget. Maybe. I did see someone had made a front wheel drive uh, with a 4G, or was it, no, a 6 something or other drive train, a Mitsubishi or something, and then he said he was getting an 11.4, which I think we should do another one where we do, this... maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves, we should do what's the cheapest front wheel, front -wheel drive. drive we can get into the tent. Is that something you guys want to see? Cheap front? No, no one likes front wheel drives. <laughs> <laughs> it's before we even ask the question. Alright, I think that's gonna do, and yeah. we're nearly at GTO Garage. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching, everyone. Get liking, get commenting. Go and subscribe to Street Effects Official on YouTube. Not all those fake ones. Find Street Effects yeah, Official and find it's, this video. The URL is youtube.com slash Street Effects Official, all in one word. Just because, like, a bunch of people have stolen the channel name. I just shark bro. I'm that excited about this drag race. <laughs> Alright. Peace out. How do you turn the live off? I have to. You do it with your phone. Oh, yeah.